This is the most stressful video <laughs> I've ever done. Okay. Hi, so this is a little bit different of a video. I had this idea, I don't know how it's gonna go, um, but we're gonna give it a go. So today I'm gonna be seeing how fast I can make a bow tie. Um, I actually get asked a lot, how long does it take you to make one bow tie? And it's kind of hard because we, Jan and I, tag team. And so like while I'm cutting out, she'll be sewing the elastic on and sewing the sailor piece and all that. And then after that, I put it all together. So, you know, it's not really like a true representation of how long it takes because we're always tag teaming and we do them all in bulk. So I thought I'd make a video on how long it takes me to make one bow all by myself. This isn't good for my anxiety. <laughs> I have my phone over there recording my making station if that makes sense. Um, I've got my dad's phone for the timer and then I think I'm gonna have to move this camera to the sewing machine so I might shave off a couple of seconds for that because obviously normally I wouldn't be doing that but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me move this over so I've got a little bit of room. Um, the only other stuff I've done to prepare, I've got the hot glue gun on now, warm, because I feel as though that doesn't really count. Um, the iron's also on, but by the time I need to use it, it'll probably be off because it's one of the ones that like automatically turns off. So that's going to be awkward. Um, I've got the fabric sitting here. I'm going to make one of our new autumn bows, but they're not like the pattern's not cut, if that makes sense. So they're just your normal pieces. I feel like having them there ready prepared doesn't count. Um, I've got my rotary board sitting there, um, my pattern, pattern pieces, um, and like the rotary blade and the scissors, but that's it. Oh, and the machines are turned on. That's it though. I haven't prepared anything else. So it's literally going to be me making a bow from scratch, putting it all together. And like, I'm going to do it properly. I'm going to try and make it look really decent. Um, I'm going to iron and everything because Technically, when I make a sailor bow, I don't actually have to iron the sailor piece once I've turned it because it looks okay, but I'm going to because that's what I would normally do when I'm going to sell it. And I want to be able to sell this bow because this is a really expensive fabric. So someone is going to get this bow and it's going to be, hopefully, the world's fastest bow tie. Um, I think I can do this pretty quick, um, although when I'm being filmed and when I have a deadline, We'll see. Um, I'm nervous. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure this is the middle that goes with it. If it's not, I'm going to look like a dickhead. But anyway, someone will get a unique bow because this is a slightly different colour. So I've got this as well. I might actually do that first. Okay. So yes, everything's prepared. The iron's on, glue gun's on. I've got everything like prepared and sat out. I'm nervous. <laughs> My anxiety is really high. Um, okay, so I'm going to move the camera now so that you can actually kind of see what I'm doing. But as I said, I'm going to have to um, move this camera over to the sewing machines because I don't have anything. If Jan was here, I'd say, can I use your phone? But she ain't here, sis. Look at this. I think that's enough. I think you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and then I'll move it over to the sewing machines and shave off a couple of seconds. But typically I would do this last, but I'm gonna do it first just so I can get this fabric out of the way, okay? Because none of this is cut. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is gonna be how quick I can make a sailor bow, start to finish, um, minus putting the rivet on, because I don't have the rivets here. Um, and I'm gonna try and make it look my best. You know, I could easily just be like, choop, choop, but no, I'm gonna cut it properly. I'm gonna do it properly because I'm actually gonna sell this bow. So someone's gonna get this bow. Someone is gonna get Emily's fastest bow, okay? Okay, are we ready? I'm not ready. Let me just put my rotary blade on. Get my um, my timer, okay, to show you like it's not fake. I'm gonna put that down over here. Can you see? Yeah, okay. So it's gonna be there. Okay, ready? Why am I so nervous? I'm such a dickhead. Okay, ready? Go. Alrighty, so this fabric is freaking huge and I've got shit going everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. 
stay on the ironing board. Now this is the problem we have when making bows because our ironing board is tiny. I'm also not putting uh, my fabrics away. So this place will look like a bomb to it when we're done. out of that almost almost forgot almost chucked the fabric away that would have been a disaster i also hope that this encourages other people to see how fast they can make things because this is fun this is exhilarating like am i shaving years off of my life absolutely but you don't give a shit okay boom, boom. don't need that oh i need you this is falling on the ground okay inch facing inch facing inch facing okay um, that looks real scrappy on the end, but um, it will do. Okay, so I've finished with all of this. F off. F off. I don't need that. Bye. <laughs> okay, iron. 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 Iron that. This iron's shit, by the way. Like, is it even on? Okay. Over. This is going to need severely trimming on the edges. I don't know what I was thinking. That's okay. That's what happens. The iron's ironing like shit today, even though it's got plenty of water in it. So hmm. we'll just um, deduct points for that. Okay. Okay, I'm actually going to trim this up really quick. It's already been a minute and a half. Okay. Give me that. That. Put that up there. Okay. I'm now going over to the machine. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to take some time off of this because. Like, I'm trying to show you as best I can. Okay, you can't see this machine, but I don't really care. Okay, I've already got the elastic cut too, and also I didn't have the machine on the right setting. But anyway, okay. I'm going to sew this. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting elastic on. Okay. Okay, done. And, like, I'm actually making it look good. I think I did the elastic too close to the edge, but... Like, I can fix this, okay? I can rescue this bow. Someone's going to get this and be like, this looks like dog shit. Okay, I'll put it there. My leg is literally shaking on the foot pedal. Fuck. Okay. Change my settings to fold up. To be oh my god, okay. Percy's barking. Um, but y'all will just have to deal with that. Percy! Okay. So the bow has been done. I'm going to cut all this stuff off now. Normally I cut this. Percy! Normally I cut all the cotton off prior. Okay, I'm now coming over to the big machine to do this. Did I go too far? No, I think I'm sorry. Which I hate when the machine doesn't do what you want it to do. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to turn that yet. I'm going to do the middle piece, and this middle piece is going to be really hard because this velvet is really slippery shit. So I'm going to try my best. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. Okay. The foot just went back down, so I have to remember to put that back up. Oh my god, Percival, shut the f <laughs> okay. okay, bringing you back over here. Once again, I don't know how much of this you can see. I guess I'll just shave a little bit off. So, um, I need to turn this. Uh, come on. I hope there's no holes, because I did actually go pretty close on one of the edges. Because normally, I take my sweet time. Okay, this edge is safe. This one's been all caught, so that's good. Okay, 
this one's caught too, I think. I was really worried about that actually. Get my iron. Okay, and then I can leave this camera because I've got my phone recording. So you can just sit there, boom, boom, just swapping. Okay, here we are. So, um, I need to use these pieces of shit, but I'm going to use them anyway. So that was a little bit of a fuck up on my part because uh, I should have done that prior. Okay, cotton, cut. It's like Percy's cheering me on. This is the most stressful video <laughs> I've ever done. Okay. Percy, shut up, please. Also, I don't know why, but this sailor piece looks kind of long and weird. I don't know if I've accidentally, like, cut it a bit big or something. Problem is that this glue is not going to dry, so I'm going to try and put a tiny amount on just so I can put my little piece on. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about Percy, by the way. I don't actually even know if this is the right middle, I don't think it is, but that's okay, I'll fix it later. I don't think I'm going to sell this. The sailor piece is really long, I don't know what happened. Anyway, did I maybe grab the wrong sailor piece? Template. I also just got glue all over the front of that, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm not going to stop the timer until this looks, like, presentable. Okay, and... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the phone went. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. I'm going to go back to the other camera now so that we can properly look at this. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job. I did get a little bit of glue... Um, by the way, 657.89. So minus a few seconds for moving the camera. Um, I want to say like 650. So seven minutes from start to finish. I thought that I'd be able to do it in five minutes, to be honest. Um, so it looks pretty good. But as I said, for some reason, I mean, it looks normal to you guys, but to me, I know that the sailor pipe. Let me get another bow. I'll just show you one that I've made. This is a bow that's coming. Let me fix this, by the way. This is what a normal one looks like. Like, actually trying. <laughs> Not that I wasn't trying. I was clearly trying. You saw how panicked I was. But this is like a finished one where Jan did some of it. I did some of it. You know, like, we actually took our time. This is the one I just did then. Um, the sailor pieces are just long. I don't know what went on, but anyway... Did I use the right template? Now it says medium, which is regular. So I don't know. I think I just cut it too big. Whatever. So the sailor pieces ended up being a little bit bigger. It's probably also because I went really close to the edge on one of them. Um, normally I would leave a pretty big seam. So that could be why too. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I got like a bunch of glue stuck in here, but I've kind of fixed it. Um, but besides that, and also, I thought I went too close with one of the elastics, this one, but it's still pretty good because obviously you want it as close to the center as possible. That's how you make your bows look amazing. Um, and also, I don't know if that's actually the middle color that went with it. I think it's the other mustard velvet, so I probably screwed up anyway, but um, the sailor pieces are too long. So if anyone wants this unique, really long <laughs> bows with a different colored middle, it's yours. Um... To be perfectly honest with you, I think I did a pretty good job in seven minutes. So I'm just going to flip this around so that we can go over it with a fine tooth comb. So this is your normal one. I would have showed you this, but I haven't actually made these yet. So this is what you're getting. So this is the normal one. You can see the sailor pieces aren't huge. Uh, and in terms of sewing, well, Jen sewed this technically, but... You can see, like, that's the diff. This is the one we just did. Seven minutes. So this elastic is slightly too close, but I mean, I would still sell that. Like, it's totally fine. Um, we've caught all of our sewing. As I said, I did go really close on one of the edges, but... Um, and I've also cut all my things off. This seems probably a little bit high, but uh, once again, that doesn't actually really matter. So all in all, you know, like to the average consumer, that looks identical. So we did that in 
what was the time again? It was like 6.57, 6.57.89. So I'm gonna say like about 6.50 because I did fuck around with the camera for a little bit, but you know, pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video because I certainly did it. Um, my anxiety has never been this bad. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna have to clean up now. I've got shite everywhere, but I hope this was something a little bit different. I just had an epiphany the other day and I was like, what if I actually timed myself? And now when people are like, how long does it take you to make a bow? I'll be like, six minutes, 50 seconds, thank you. Um, when I'm editing the video, I might actually like properly work out how long it took me to move the camera, etc. Take that off and then put the real time here. I put the time here, the actual official, but I feel like it was probably f seven seconds ish. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty damn good for a seven minute bow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly didn't. I'm now going to go and have a lay down. <laughs>